people of God, you are welcome to another edition of the Divine Anchor, a special spiritual program to keep us moving. Today, I'll be talking to us on the way we can avoid distractions because we have a lot of distractions coming from east, west, north, and south, left, and right. So, I want us to remain focused. Can we go to the book of Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1? I say, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, we must get rid of every weight and the sin that clings so closely and run with endurance the race set out for us keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set for him, he endured the cross, disregarding his shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. People of God, we have every reason to be distracted, weight of load, distractions here and there, family needs, student cares, children's welfare. The Bible is saying we should be focused. Distraction is something that takes one out of the way. The process of being distracted. There is a word from the Lord. We have all forms of disorder, disturbances, and confusion around us. Note that they all exist, that God is able to see us through. So we should look up to the Lord. Look up to Jesus. Don't look at the left or the right because you may be further distracted. Remain focused in the Lord. That is how to avoid distractions. Don't look at economy or situation of the world or the nation. But look at what the Lord can offer you. And by that, you are good to go. So I want us to have a prayer of agreement now. That the Lord whom we look up to will not fail us. Can we pray? Can you say, Father, help me not to be distracted. That even in a time like this, no matter the pressures that are coming from the family, from the nation, from the church, from the environment where I live. I shall not be distracted. Lord, give me grace to remain focused, to look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And as we do that, Lord, we trust it shall be well with us. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.